huge oh, tick. Got We've got a bot. Just in time. Tape is rolling, <laughs> boys and girls. Get ready for Taco Tuesday. Dude, what the fuck's this fucking fig plucker in my seat? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No Get clue. Out of my seat. Talk, talk to the talk to the beast man Zip. over there. Zip. Move your pig because I can't sit down in my seat. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. on the set getting ready to go live on the radio boys and girls everybody this is laz and this is jack welcome to another edition of lunch with laz and jack where we interpret the news so you don't have to that's right bringing you our own brand of news from right here inside shroud of the avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure and entertainment how's everybody doing out there today thanks for joining us everybody today for the record is tuesday march 14th 2017 tally poo tally poo tally poo how you doing out there and they said hi so hi. i had to respond back yes I, they said course. hi so I, mm, 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 mm. yep hi skirta how are you today I'm alive. We've got Eagle out there joining us, of course. And uh, we're just a couple of days away from an anniversary here ourselves. Uh, just three days shy of our second anniversary here on the air inside Trinity Avatar. That's right, two whole years going into our third year of broadcasting live in the game. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, two whole years of us uh, sitting here doing sitting nothing here on the lot, doing a whole lot of nothing. That's right. <laughs> I, it's like, you look at my hit points, and you can't tell that I've done anything in this game. Is uh, well, what do you got for hit points on that character? Uh, only know. only three fifty three. Oh, only. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's not too bad. It, it's it's okay. Unlike <laughs> unlike Led Zepp, who may have a considerable amount more than I do, I actually know how the game mechanics work. Uh, yeah, 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 that's, that's self right. evident, yeah. isn't it? That's so different. Different. yeah. So he's still trying to figure out how to rename his pets properly. So you know, I well, know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working on GMing there. some. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on GMing skills without having any pooled XP, which is possible. Good luck with that. It is it possible. Is possible. It, it just takes a while. Well, it takes a long takes while. A... I don't see how it's possible. So it, here, here it, we'll, we'll elucidate uh, uh, Led Zepp a little bit right now. So <laughs> when when I ha have fifteen thousand XP in my crafting pool, okay, and I'm converting wood scrap into wood pulp, it uses fifty three XP. 
What? That's not a skill. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> the milling. What do you do with milling? Does nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. As it gets down to uh, a pre about 7,000 XP, it's only using 7 XP per craft. And by the time you get down to less than 5,000 crafting XP, it uses zero skill. Just turn but it off. the skill. Just turn it off. It won't use anything. Stop. But still, the skill actually climbs, even though it's not pulling anything from your XP pool. Yeah, very, 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 very slow. Yes, like 25 yes. each hit. Sounds, Sounds like a like bug to me, though. Exploit. Well, it, it has been reported by me just because you, you, you know me. I included screenshots. I went into a little bit of detail. I even told Attenwood personally. Um, and he, uh, it's one where it's like, am I abusing it? No, yeah, I'm just making teleports and recalls. Same old, same old. Going about our daily business. Bitch, that's, that's, right. Right. that's right. 25 experience per click, ain't it? 25, that ain't nothing. I don't know. No, it's less than 4 XP per oh, click. Oh, Jesus. All right, yeah, don't worry yeah. about it. You're all right. They, they <laughs> exploit, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's so, real low, I, but uh, yeah, and and since uh, like milling doesn't add to your XP pool, it it's one where it only takes. It it just becomes a little bit of something. Oh, I, I heard a request for more music. I've got the perfect song for us. Yeah, no, there's somebody Stones. sitting at the piano. Uh, wait, he started playing. Yes. Yeah. I was typing in Stone's Loop. Yeah, I yeah. know. You're not allowed to play I music. Anymore. <laughs> I am allowed to play music. I get to play music whenever. Yeah. I mean, you, you like the Flower of Scotland. It takes us through almost the entire show. Go ahead, Jay. Oh, no. No, no. no. It, 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 <laughs> there you go. Yeah, see, L Lyft was that playing way? some Metallica, which was really cool, you know. And I assume that List has hey. got a little bit of a a catalog. Hey, hey, hey. Of days, you know, we don't get to hear List play for what's, us. What's what's wrong with what I'm playing? I can't hear it. It's 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 an upbeat tempo. It just means you need to adjust your volume. I can't hear it. I mean, uh, I mean, List knows exactly who I'm playing. It's, he enjoys the music. Can't hear it at all, and I ain't playing with the volume switches. The volume switches are right where I want them. <laughs> if I can't hear it, it's broke. Uh, awesome. This is hilarious. List is giving me a bunch of uh, Ultima, Ultima Three Exodus Castle, Ultima Four Adventurer, and Ultima Four Wanderer. <laughs> uh, cheap music. Yep. Oh, even better. Still don't help. Can't hear it. I can hear it. That's all that matters. No, what matters is that the viewers hear it. That's what matters. It doesn't hey, matter whether if, you if or I hear it. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If, if they're watching my stream, they get to hear it. If they're listening to your stream, oh, they so don't get to hear it. Which stream so. is on 24 hours a day, my partner? Oh. Both. Oh. No, on. <laughs> Not on demand. On. <laughs> well, you didn't qualify when, when that completely. People go search for Shroud Avatar live streams 24 hours a day. What do they see? They see the NBNN stream. In that awesome NBNN logo. That's right. <laughs> Some guy came up with. That's right. Love this shit. Okay. Moving right along, we do have to talk about stand up corner. We do have to talk about other things that I neither one of us are prepared for. I'm prepared. Don't, don't, don't talk for yourself, don't, buddy. Don't, I don't know what you're talking about. in two minutes before and sit down. And, 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 and <laughs> damn, Dragar saying he can't hear my music. I'm it's telling you, nobody the hears game it. Game music is low. Nobody hears hear it. it. Wait, why the fuck is it not being played? Hello? McFly. Weird. It's, it's, uh, yeah, you think I complain because I want to complain. I don't complain because I want to complain. Com I complain because... You complain bro. about everything, man. There we go. We what, got Zeke. Don't you? Let's Zeke play. See, Zeke's got some cool shit he's come Zeke, up with. Zeke, Zeke's get to wait until the, the end of the song. I don't know how to hit escape. <laughs> 
É. <risos> <laughs> so, so, uh, you ready to move right along to, uh, stand up corner? Ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here. Are you sure up. about that? No. Oh, no. Yep, yep. You can hear the music on my stream now. It's in the background. It's low. We have zero background. No ambiance whatsoever. <laughs> so, so you better be reading in really good form today Boy, for everybody there we Pirate go. voice. <laughs> Pirate voice. Yeah, so, so <laughs> somebody let the dog out. Oh, so we've got a nice musical distraction in, in the interlude while we've got the uh, dogs bouncing up on screen there for everybody. Thank you for that follow. Yep. Okay, so moving right along. Don't forget, stand-up corner is where the devs sit there and say, hey, I'm working on this i worked on this yesterday something random gets ri written down eventually it gets posted to the forums and so we are talking about what the devs were doing the day before or the day before that and in case of the weekend you have to add a couple less days one or two uh one or two all depends on how much work they do over the weekend so this is the stand-up corner from monday march 13th over in the Portalarium offices. Over in the art department, Bob the Builder. Cult of Bob. Death money, he finally, Bob. He finally decided to crawl out of the hangover state as he worked on the regular and the ornate kettle drums and harpsichord. Because this song that's being played right now would be awesome on the harpsichord. It would be. I, I have heard it on the harpsichord. Is, uh, uh, as, uh, as, lo as long as it sounds like a harpsichord and not like a screeching cat, we should be okay. Yes. <laughs> and then NFG Damon. Damon Waldrop. Who's a long-time industry veteran working on the Ice Fist and Unity update and mentoring. Mentoring. That's right. Fletcher. Fletch lives. Working on Obsidian Weapons and Spring Weapons Review. Gotta review those weapons. That's sure right. I mean, it's like, cases. hey, I spent I spent 10 minutes d designing this thing. What? It's not perfect? <laughs> oh, I need to go back and touch that up a little bit. Touch it up. Just, just the tip. Just the tip. Yeah, that's right. The Almighty Gix Vargach. Matt. Matt. Working on the elemental ambush animations. Ooh, wait, does this mean that we're going to have a... Uh, Surprise! See, like, a rock in-game, walk past it, and it's going to convert into a... or unfold itself into an earth elemental... Um, I don't know what, the, like a little gust of wind Going becoming a, a morph er, from arrow, a rock el, into arrow an elemental. elemental. Yeah, that would be sweet. Will, will we have sand golems just appearing out of the sand. Yes. Fire elementals jumping out of the flames. Beware, you're you're camping. That would be awesome. Ooh, that would be cool. I mean, the unintended summoning of the fire elemental. Yeah, we had a little, we had a little gimmick uh, plugged into the gate spell um, on our shard back uh, many years ago, and there was a random chance that when you opened the gate, um, a demon would spawn and come through the gate because you uh, didn't quite hit the spell just right. <laughs> Whoops! 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 Not again! We opened the gate to the wrong place. Yep. <laughs> Then Reed trying to dig me out hey, of Rallo. the Deco Diva's pit of despair. Uh, working on the roadway pavers and upgrading Unity. Over in design, B Cotton. Brandon Cotton. The almighty Beezus working on patterns and weapon integration. Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. He's impaling corpses in the world. And 
dead bodies in the world and rock slide bugs and uh, mines map. Yay! Over Dan Brennan working on Dan. battle camps, battle camps and the run ruins and player towns. Sanyo working on the player town sieges and unity update. Lum the mad. Lum the mad. Trying to check off things on the task list and revisiting tutorials and artifice. Fatui. Fatui. The Fatui's. Fatui. The Fatui's coming back, man. And the Fatui is going to be overworked and the Revenge the of the Fatui. Return yeah, the Fatui. Of the Fatui, the Fatui yeah, see, strikes back. <laughs> the Fatui had a second hole that was never plugged properly, and so they have to go back and plug that properly. Sorcerer Steve working on the cast ruins. And mountains and traps. And then Liz Drostov working on Unity updates and the Fall Entrance. The Fall. Over in tech, Bobby. Bobby Thompson. Updating the Mac client to a PC. <laughs> and Soda Map integration bugs. Soda Map integration bugs. Eric working on play Player Town Sieges and release 40 tasks. Oh, Player Town Sieges. Yeah, I'm not putting any of those yes. damn things up in my towns. I am. Nah, yeah, already seeing too many complaints from people about the sieges. That's, that's well, my experience. Yeah, you, you know what? It, I it know. just Stay to the left, right? Stay to that's the right. left. Stay to the left. Pa passing lane only. <laughs> That or I've uh, got one better for you. <laughs> teleport. I know a vendor that sells some teleports. Um, you know, in Alice, so just go north of the bank um, and look for the ones finely crafted by Jackson. Yeah, Assist. but when, when and you're leaving a scene and it wasn't under siege when you came in, you know, it would be nice to have a warning, maybe, that, uh, you know, says. What? So you, you want, like, inside the scene um like the sky to start like flashing all kinds of lightning and changing oh, i don't know like maybe when you yeah, come I, to the exit if there's a town siege out there you can like see something going on out there instead of nice plain foresty you know safety you, into the <laughs> you mean that means they have to change the bitmap of some sort um know. and it, dude it would be much easier just for them to do an environmental effect inside the scene like the flaming sky uh higher yeah fire flaming fire sky. sky i mean yes. that tells you the town's under siege okay so then after that i forgot where i was at jy, JY. working on the asset bundle yeah. performance he said that's it yeah he's trying to make sure that her assets all on fire and localization The Deathbringer, one and only, also updating to Unity 5.5. That's right. Burning Toad. The burn. Trying to push out a patch somewhere. Eh, I, I, I think it's the one in the middle of the back that you can never reach, um, yeah, as I well as know. Unity updates. I need to work on that, that flexibility. I, that that like, burning itch. Like there's like a gap, like... <laughs> that I can't reach in my back. It's like, geez, man. Uh, and then Taslo still store architecture refactoring. Over in QA, the Attenwood working on sanity testing and regression test and store testing and forums. And and then and and Serafina's working on weekly update, email test and review and customer service and QA. Quality assurance. Our useless overhead group, we had the Dippy Bird spending his day upgrading Unity. The Gorn. Working on that general business. That's right. Trying to make sure that all the, the bills are paid. 
Barrick working on the hospital meeting and community and flash sales and the weekly update. Hutch was working on the Sky Dome Heavenly Bodies update and Unity updates and update Fallout. Fallout. Oh, yeah, I'm update sure, Fallout. I'm sure there's got to be a couple quirks with an upgrade like that. What are you talking about? The uh, update Fallout? Yes. I mean, that's Fallout over the weekend from the weekly update. I'm thinking the Unity 5.5 update up Fallout. Since well, that, that's all that's being updated uh, across, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, it's like, why would upgrading something cause serious bugs in your design? I Why? I When someone changes a core mechanic and then, what am I to do? You're Welcome re to the reading world. chat. <laughs> no. <laughs> I should be though. Oh, Donnie Brasco, the pimp, is looking for in-game guild cloak for BMC. Thanks. That one, or are you referring to Discord? Oh no, the in-game uh, Holly Hog. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah. It's bugging Laz with yeah. guild chat. It's like, thanks guys. Well, you 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 have to remember what what guild chat is is Jackson assistant. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't see what you're talking oh. about. Oh, wait, hold hold on, hold on. Let me go to guild. <clears throat> My the two player guild that I'm in. <laughs> you actually use that player? I didn't realize he was still in that guild. <laughs> yes. The NBNN News Guild. That's right. We do That's have right. a guild, folks. Here's a whole. And then after that. Planet. And no one else got to see that on, on my stream, but eventually they'll they'll see something. Uh, Lord British was spending his weekend hanging out with all the folks at South by Southwest after he left the Ren Fair. So I don't even know if he changed out of his uh, his uh, doublet. No, he probably just took the jacket well, off, threw it on the it was, seat, drove it was over. A little wet. Huh? A little wet. <laughs> well. <laughs> So he, yeah, he may have been right. walking around in a, a wet doublet. You guys down there. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so after that, he was also entering some bugs into Jira. Bug and wishlist and general bidness. Bidness. Chaos was working on the weekly update and flash sales and database integration and Unity update. And last but not least, the Dark Star working on the weekly update and add-on triage. And release 41 and Q2 planning and meetings. Mm. And that's what our devs said they were working on yesterday. Dark, Dark starts reaching out ahead of himself there. Or is that a typo? Which part? The Q2 planning? Uh, release 41. 41? Yeah. Since well, we're, we're I, coming I think... up on 40, if he's already working on 41, man, he's he's getting ahead of the, ahead of the curve here. Which uh, I'm not, not going to argue with. Well, you end up with uh, uh, the the word planning in there. Um, that kind of tells you what he was actually doing. Planning. Yeah, he's getting ahead of himself, which is great. Yeah. 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 Usually he's planning to get release 40 in the can, not working on release 41 before 40's in the can, so... Well, maybe he's he's very forward thinking this these days. I yes, but the uh, the Q two maybe notes he's should be maybe he's quite trying maybe he's trying to do three steps forward, one step back. Well, we said Fast and Furious, and uh, of course uh, they've been cranking out the content to the left and right as of late, and uh, again we we have. A time frame for when they would like to launch the game, and uh, I'm I'm waiting for the Q2 report uh, to see what's in it specifically. Of course, now of course uh, Q1 has flown by, and uh, we're we're getting ready for some good stuff. Um, what is uh, today again? Is the 14th, so we still got. About two and a half, two weeks, two days till the next release. This is uh, actually one of the longer release schedules uh, between uh, monthly releases here on this month for some reason. That just means they have a, a lot of work that they get to put in. 
Yes. Yeah, well, I, th- I think I think they they knew with uh, GDC South by Southwest um, that they needed to go ahead and push it back to the final uh, Thursday of the month for the release. What do you mean? They because push I mean, it back. So instead of doing the next to last, is it generally the next to last no, Thursday? No, it's always, always the last Thursday of the month. Thursday. There's nothing yeah. new there. I was gonna say, what are you talking about? Why, why am I? Why am I smoking crack? I don't know, man. Put down I, the I crack know. pipe and step away from the loot, will you? My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's going yeah. on. I, yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, what, what are you what, laughing what, about, Zach? Hey, it, 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 <laughs> see, see, the, the funny part is, at least I'm, I'm willing to admit there's some confusion. Is it this or this? Yeah. Is, I uh, think it's this. I, I, I might be wrong. Now, Don, yeah. Donnie, we, of course, we did announce it for you. But again, there are 22 of those, and nobody's selling them. If you find somebody who's selling them, I'm going to show you somebody who's not going to be in a very good place with the rest of the <laughs> crew for selling their damn cloak, even if it is to another <laughs> guild member. <laughs> that, that, that is like that. a major, major item of prestige amongst us in the guild. Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's good stuff. You wouldn't happen to have one of those, would you? Yeah, well, I'll sell it. For Jeopardy the right four hundred. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, you'd be surprised. Don, Don, Donnie'll throw that stupid money at you. I tell you. I'll sell I'll mine for five. <laughs> for five what? Five million? Five hundred. Five dollar. Oh, five hundred dollars. A long time. A long time. Well, there you go, Donnie. There's an offer on the table, $500. And, of course, we can't be mad at Scrota because he's not a guild member. <laughs> nope, he is not. Now, yes, a couple people who were not members of the guild did get those because they did show up at the convention. But, again, very, very uh, limited item. So, good luck on that. So moving right along, uh, yesterday we were talking about that article. Do we want to jump back onto that topic? Do we got some new topics we want to cover? Do we want to? What do we want to do from here today? Well, what 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 do you want to talk about? Because uh, I I really have no plans. Yeah, I can talk about this music thing all day long. I'm not hearing nothing. Hey man, I just played an entire song just for you. Yeah. Did did you adjust your volume again to where it's off? No, my volume is actually halfway up the damn ladder when it's usually only this loud for me to hear it. Now it's this loud and I still wasn't hearing nothing. I still got hey. more to go, but Hey. Do I, do I need to put you in, point you to a bug that I I submitted? And now I can barely hear it. What's going on here, yeah, man? Yeah. You guys are all out of key. Three people playing. I have no idea. Well, we're trying to make sure that Laz actually hears something. I yeah, turned this yeah. shit off. And see, there's, there, therein lies the problem. You tell me to turn it up and to hear you, and then 20 people play their music, and it sounds like hey. shit, so, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm going to solve the problem from here on out. I'm going to keep a character in another scene. I'm going to play music, and I'm going to mute this scene, and I'll be done with it. We'll have music in the background. That's all. Lip sync. Very simple. Yeah. Millie yeah. Vanilli. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Millie Everybody Vanilli. think that the people standing there playing music are actually playing it. We'll have other music in the background. We'll do a 19, yeah. 1960s oh. replace the band's move. But anyway, uh, why Matt is strangling video game morality? Oh, not again. Well, yeah, you got something better to talk about? <laughs> Cough it up, brother. Oh, yeah. Not that. Cough yeah, it it's lots, lots of shit. What? Yeah. I'd rather yeah. you get the soapbox out. Yeah. You can only you can only beat the dead horse so much, man. Then he starts stinking. You got to understand that with certain topics. Let you talk about a skill decay again. 
Yeah, uh, what, yeah, yeah. What, if, yeah. If he understood skill decay, we'd let him talk about it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. But... Well, that, and he has to play the game in order to die, other than being That's right. killed in town. And he would actually have to like look at things beforehand. Now, is that yeah, I lost Scroder 30K, running around? Hold 30K, on. one death. I... Where, where did Scroder go? Did I see when, Scroder when. go running around with his... Uh... What's up? BMC cloak uh, on, showing yes, off now. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, he is. There you go. It's awesome. It is. It's probably one of the hottest looking cloaks out there as well, in my opinion. Maybe I'll give you three hundred gold for it, cloaks right now. Yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> I'm a little jaded, but uh, that's too good of a deal. I can't let you do that. What three hundred right, gold? I don't know. That, that's. Uh, it's a tough deal to turn down, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, and, and imagine that it was eventually marked as a, a known bug. Here, here. I, I finally found my you my bug report it? for you. There you go. In order to listen to another player, and of course, again, I, I, you t hey, you're, you're preaching hey. to the choir here, Smalls. I've been hey. telling you this Wh for months. It's a known bug. Hey, hey, jackass. Jackass. Who's the one that fucking submitted it? And what did they tell you? And and then what look the at fuck? the post you want a cloak for What's up? Get a real cloak for reporting Let's see. What ah, did you say? Man. Look. Jeez. She identified the bug number. Submitted for review. And then she went back and she edited it with the bug number. And then marked it as known. I don't see it marked as known here. Where am I seeing that? Well, well if you see it as known audio instrument volume, that's oh, the title of the there, thread yeah. now. So, you reported a known bug, which is what <laughs> I told you. So, what, what are you no, bringing? No, 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 no. Club, give the wait, boy wait, a club. Wait, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> It was not. It was not. It was not marked as known until after the bug uh, number was listed. And again, so the reason was, why they mark it as known is because they know that it exists. They've known that it existed. Otherwise, no, 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 they would no, just mark no, it no, as known. No, they know bug. now. No, they it's, know now. <laughs> That's no, why it's marked no, 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 as known. No. Is known means it's been a known bug and they've know about it. Not not you reported a brand new bug. Okay. I, I mean, why I've been reading she, these forums for years now. Why Why did she include the bug number that she put on there on Wednesday? She edited it to let you know what the bug number was hey. that was already the known bug. They only do okay, that so, when they so already her, have a known bug. So, 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 so Laz, is what? it included in... There, there's a, a thing in our Well, you know, you have two of these guys here who can probably issues. answer that question for you. Why don't you no, just ask they, them? They they don't work on audio. doesn't matter. They, they can tell you how it's marked known or unknown, can't they? They do that down there, don't they? No. no. They, they don't so, report the bugs. So, yeah, so I can't when, tell you that. Okay, so <laughs> if we look at this thing in our inventory called known issues. Right. It is a book. Right. And then it has one that called a subsection called audio, and you click on that. Right. And it says a number of audio effects, sound effects may be unlinked from volume sliders or missing. These need to be addressed right. cased We're in by case, so reports are still welcome. Some instruments may not be playing correct notes or have notes missing. Sound okay. effects used in game are not final, and in many, many cases may be placeholders. They pointed you to a known hey. bug that already had a yeah. number. It's not, hey, got nothing hey, to do hey, with that. <laughs> Last, <laughs> what, 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 what is now? Right. Okay. Are we supposed to report bugs that are not included in the known issues whenever they have a new it's release? A new, Even though it was they a known bug. I've told you this no? for several months. You don't want to listen hey, to me. Hey, Here's how do you get them to readdress Here's it and it. realize that it's still a fucking problem? You have to resubmit the bug if the every bug single a number fucking and it's release. On the known list, it's on the list. 
<laughs> that doesn't mean that I it's don't on think the list. Want to hear you fighting near the top. Well, it no. is way at the bottom. <laughs> it is. It is something that it's it's killing the. There's time thirty thousand viewers out there. Something's got to be on the bottom. I'm sorry. Something's got to be the last so, ass. I don't want to hear you bitching about Take it this. To the thunder thunder thunder. Ass. <laughs> How many people want to listen to fucking what, Laz bitch about? These fucking sound volume. Oh yeah, like you're not contributing. I do. <laughs> See, apparently you don't get it. Yeah, you know, is yeah. It was a known bug. I knew it was a known bug. Tuesday. Hence, I'm not going to hey, bother yeah. them with a known Taco Tuesday, bug. folks. Taco Tuesday. That's right. Report the shit every eat single fucking tacos. release. Eat more tacos. Eat more tacos. I can eat I some of those taco. tacos today. So I, are I the audio slides working? Those. I can eat some of those known bug tacos too, you know. I had a uh -huh. uh, yeah. Gotta get the last word in. All right, good. Submitted for oh, review. Question. Thanks. We know this bug. Here's the number. Just so you have it for your reference. Then, then after that, it was changed to <laughs> fucking known. <laughs> so maybe it was they researched it for you. I they said thank you for your reply. This is the known bug for <laughs> your for your information. Okay, get this the is other what I've now. already told you. I'm you got to get that shit. Like you're the one that bitches week. about the audio every single day. Every single day. Okay. All right, you're both done. And, and again, yes, I and, know, and I've always it. said it's a known reported bug, haven't I? Have I not which, said that which all along the line? Ass. Keep reporting it. Ass. Why should I report it? It's already a known bug. You don't get that concept. Report. Report every single release. <laughs> Lunch with Laz and Jack is officially canceled. For I tell you, <laughs> you don't get it. Got to report it so that it's priority gets it. raised. Yeah, we, we ding, ding, invented ding, ding, the bug brigade ding, ding, ding. so that they could weed through 300 identical bug reports to go, hey, this is a known bug, and tell that to 300 people. Okay, because they were getting that, so many that, repeat that's bug why it reports, took them it was a, ridiculous. A week and a a week and a half to sit there and, and figure out that that was a, a, a known bug. Oh, or yeah, longer. because they don't have a staff of 500 yes. going through all the bugs yes. to give you an answer. <laughs> you know that. They got a small staff of 30, and I'm it takes aware. time to find this out. So you reported a bug that took somebody several days to research when they could have been working on no, something it, else. It didn't is take my that long to research. Okay. <laughs> I blame Jack. That's all Jack. Yeah. No, nope. No. At the same time, if it's not in the known li issues, you need to re-import. Re Saturday has said you it, are breaking so my it, immersion. It was in the known <laughs> issues is what they told hey. you. <laughs> Break and, my and this immersion. is what you don't seem to be getting here. <laughs> hey, new release, new issue. Yeah. New release, new issue. I don't think so. That's right. Okay, next release, when we report this, they're going to come back with the guys, same number. So it's going to be the same yet? bug hey, next release. Climax that yet? I wish I had a picture of your old's marriage God. to remind you how much you Order in the court. Hey, Scroda, if you want a picture, you just wait till after the show and we'll give you the link to YouTube and you can go watch it all you want, brother. No problem. <laughs> hey, it wasn't me that he married anyways. I mean, it was yeah. some other guy. Some other guy, some other guy. with a mustache, yeah. Mm -hmm. A black mustache. <laughs> it, it was evil Jack. That's right. It was evil Jack Frost. <laughs> Jack Frost. <laughs> okay. So okay. next month, okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna report this if it's not fixed, and they're gonna come back and they're gonna go known bug, and I'm gonna go look Glass. same damn bug Glass. number, Glass. same damn bug Glass. number. <laughs> and and I'll sit there and say it's still not listed as a known issue. Well, <sighs> then you're wrong. You're wrong. And then we'll have the same conversation all over That's again. Right. It'll be great. <laughs> hey, hey. Conversation. I'll, I'll even include last a, a link to the known issues that are listed on. Yeah. Those are known issues that most people have problems with. They don't list the 40,000 known bugs in the system. Okay. They don't do that. So th let's not compare pineapples and apples here, buddy. Yeah, you're you you going you walking up pin? the wrong tree. <laughs> Pineapple pin. Pineapple. 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 Hey. <laughs> so what did we learn today? 
<laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. If you tune in to Lunch with Lies and Jack, you never know what the hell you're going to hear. That's what you learned today. <laughs> so moving right along to the topic we wanted to discuss, but nobody wants to discuss anyway. Oh, like so how would you derail this train in the first place? <laughs> well, that's because you haven't read the article yet. I've read the article. I've read the article three times now. Still not going to change my opinion. Put a bug report in. Yeah, bug report that <laughs> article. That article's <laughs> not right. Morality's not right. Okay, so it, we'll go ahead and man. summarize. The, <laughs> su summarize the first couple of par paragraphs. Summarize English the first couple mode. paragraphs. Yeah, let, let's let's get into the story here. The guy starts off talking about Ultima Four, and you know how him and his friends were playing Ultima Four. And the moral dilemmas of trying to live up to the virtues in the game. And when they finally come to the realization later on that it didn't make the goddamn difference because it was just all math, you know, it sort of blew, blew his immersion, man. He was breaking his immersion. But uh, he goes on to go into how math is used in certain other games. Uh, he went into uh, what was it, Watcher? The what? Is, is that the right name? Watchers. Witcher. Witcher. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't play a lot of other games. Witcher, you guys Witcher know I one, play two, one three. game. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you know, he says he comes up to a conundrum, almost like uh, the uh, clink type thing. You know, he comes up upon a character who's about to die. He's got this bottle of poison that may just cure her, but may kill her, um, and he's presented with a moral dilemma he makes his choice she gets well he goes about his way then later on he meets up with her fiance or whatever it was and he says she's been paralyzed and sick but she's alive and you know how dare he take all that away from him and later in the storyline he actually got some repercussions from it because it was actually storyline and not that no good deed yeah anyway I thought it was a pretty interesting story. Apparently, you don't think it's interesting, and you thought it was. I, I don't know written. what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it. it's it's like the first entire sec section is about Ultima Four and tracking the eight virtues and how to game it. Then it goes into Quest for Glory Two, Adventures of Robin Hood. I have no mouth and I must scream. Um, so you you didn't read into the whole quest for the virtues the 12 year old minds what they thought about the quests how they were trying to live up to them you didn't take any of that content and absorb any of that none of that meant anything i, to I, you. I played ultima 4 when it came out okay uh at the same time when you get into and like did you it, have it, these moral conundrums when you were playing ultima 4 did those uh, thoughts I, come across I, your I, mind i did not have those moral conundrums as a Let's see, how old was I in 1986? As an 11-year-old kid playing Ultima 4 in 1986, maybe? Uh, I don't know. That's how old I was in 1986. Oh, conscience. So he's but telling this uh, from his experience as a 12-year-old and what he recalls. And you don't dig the trip down memory lane? It, 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 it's, it, it is a trip down memory uh, lane. Well. It, but it, it is pastiche. It, it is nothing. It is... It is it's setting you up for the examination of games as they move forward. Absolutely. And it, it's one where uh, uh, if, if you if you look at what he says, even though the numbers underneath Ultima 4's decisions are simplistic, being faced with those big moral questions was novel, novel, even revolutionary at the time. What's disappointing is that in the 22 years since Ultima, the math governing most morality oh, systems has get, gotten more complicated, but it's still math. And it's still there. Computer coding. Our be computer, computer coding, coding is math. Yes. Math is always going to be there. The difference is that you can track things a multiple method. It's just like the, as I tell you, Ow. what's my favorite quest Ow. in this game? The Myron quest. Myron, hmm. because at the end you're given the choice: Do you let Myron live? Do you kill Myron? Spoiler. What do you tell his sister? It's a, it's a it's an early early quest. It's if you go a downside. moral dilemma. I, it is a moral dilemma, and it's one where the the game systems are not set up to track human behavior. Okay, but 
with because the they can't it. they can't they can't do the morality because they can't read the player's mind so morality based systems are simplistic realistically they they are just tracking a few bits it's just like uh, early on, one of the biggest virtue hits was looting corpses in the starting right. scenes. But when you everybody came out with negative virtue out of the starting scenes because they were touching the corpses. But when you take, Be say, a mindless game like yeah. uh, Wolfenstein from back in that day, okay, there was no thought process. To the idea was kill the Germans, to go out and kill everything in Kill the Germans. Kill when when that's presented that's with something like I, the Myron wait, wait, Quest. I, I, I disagree with that because if you go back to the original Wolfenstein, where the you had to, you could f fool the guards with when they were asking you for your papers. And, uh, this is this is the 2D. I mean, like the the super super uh, the Apple II version of the game from like eighty three eighty four. I'm talking the basic shareware PC version of Wolfenstein. Back from... you're, you're you're talking I Wolfenstein three D. He's talking Wolfenstein three D. But if he goes back to the earlier Wolfenstein's, the the guards would actually ask questions, and you could lie to them. Uh, you could do other things but it didn't trace your morality in order well, to sneak around them again I, I was just getting to the root of it i don't want to base mm -hmm. you know, i don't want to go for a history lesson the idea hey, was to go hey, kill hey. and get points there was no morality to it back and slash okay the idea behind the myring quest is after you do that what does the map do to you do, do you get a consequence doesn't matter whether you kill him or not doesn't matter what you tell her or not the only thing the difference is you tell her one thing, she curses at you for the rest of your life. You tell See, her another thing, she doesn't curse at you the rest of her life. But do you get a yeah, virtue but hit on this, that? This, this is where you run into a problem with game math. Because what happens if I'm actually an evil person and I kill Myron not out of compassion, I kill him because he's your pleasure, man. the joy. Yeah, of he it. looked at you I, funny. He looked at me funny, he farted, he smelled, and I wanted to get rid of him. Um, versus an act of compassion would be because it can be a, an act of compassion to kill someone uh, in the right circumstances. Um, says you. And says me, yes. Well, I, I don't hey, agree hey. with that. Okay, so, I mean, that, 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 again, that's human nature. You can't attribute that in a video game. But, but, but it's one where is that was, was the action compassionate? Was it malicious? And you can't gauge the two without knowing the mentality of the player. Absolutely. And so th the, the only thing that developers can do is bit flip. Right. So with the morality question, how do we handle that with the math and the games? I mean, that, did, did, did you let them live? Did you actually get a good tick for that? A bad tick for that? No tick for that. What, 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 what is the outcome there? You know? I don't know. There is none. <laughs> wow, What's that was that? a lot of Life time goes spent on, on nothing. Life, All right. On. What's the damn problem? Yeah, yeah. Jack's argumentative well. today, and that's what the damn problem is. And so am I, so it makes for a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk about sound systems. Um, the reason that I don't like this article is it doesn't provide a, a, a solution to the problem that he's trying to address. There is no solution to it. There, there is none until you actually create a, a, a system that can actually judge... A character by their overall course of actions which is a lot of math and exactly. then from there <laughs> decide whether or not they're trying to game the system math. by by balancing the equilibrium um, or are there are there overall actions because you have to weight each of those actions um, in, weigh, in a different way. You weigh them, it requires math. You need math to weigh them. You need yes. math. That's right. But it, 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 it's one where it's like, okay, he's just reduced all of this down to bit flipping. That's it. And oh, that's which is math. All it's going to be. Bit flipping is math. Zeros and ones, man. 
Yeah. It's, it's, so, so yeah, I, I don't really think it's a you great know, article. You, you really know how to blow and, a trip down memory lane, I tell you. And at the same time, <laughs> is it strangling? Because that's what the title is. Is it strangling video game morality? Or, or that, is, that, is that players going outside the scope of what the designers really intended? Well, again, video game morality. You don't see much of it in video games these days. Um, you know, there aren't many out there. I mean, you see all these, you know, you see all these Android games. They're, you know, uh, point and click. You see all these shooter games. They're, you know, rack up kills and death. Um, you know, that isn't morality. You know, the morality of a, a combat game is... To stay alive, I, and I don't consider that a morality <laughs> issue. It's moral know? relativism, yeah. man. It's all relative, right? To be alive. Yeah. We, yes, morals are all relatives to the individual. Whose morals are you talking about? Yeah, that's right. Yes, I go by mine. We, we definitely ain't talking about fun. yours, Zip, because we see what you take out in the public <laughs> exactly. every day. There. Why well, use your morals? <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> But anyway, Ooh, we're yeah, running we're a little behind it. schedule here. Don't know what you're talking about. We're <laughs> right on time. Because you're going to cover the, the... I don't know. What, oh, what are yeah, you going to cover? <laughs> <laughs> so, so are we going to strangle uh, video game morality because... Yeah. We're going to go to the uh, yeah, trend of the yeah, Avatar yeah. community calendar and give the good folks what's going on out there in the world today. I don't know where that's at. You don't know where that's at. It's at nbnn.info <laughs> slash calendar html. Yeah, let's see that smile over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, by that, I, I mean I can't find the right tab. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> because it's 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 there. Yeah, it, it's tab number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three hundred and twenty-eight. Yeah, it's tab number seven. How many tabs you got open, and how many windows? Well, okay, so in let, let's see, a lot, a lot. <laughs> yeah, so today is March Tuesday, March fourteenth. Don't forget if you um have a business your taxes are due tomorrow um vip tickets for Soticon are still ongoing until they are exhausted as well as the vip tickets there are two available last i heard Oof. which include the grand tour of the portalarium studio by none other than lord british for Soticon austin in october Early bird tickets are still available, as well as the cloaks for non-attendees. Uh, those are both going to be there and expiring whenever quotas are met or something like that. Early bird tickets expire April Fool's Day of all days. April Today Fool's at noon, 3, 6, 9, and 12, there are two idiots that don't know what the fuck they're doing as they discuss music for 45 minutes. Because someone thinks everything should... You never oh, be addressed. Yes. And he'd hey, rather just complain about it every single day. Done with that issue. <laughs> Known issue. No, no, you got to bring that up. To and again. it wasn't forty. I don't know. What you're talking. About. <laughs> it was like thirty. Uh, then after that, we do have at two p.m. the Pax Layer Town Manager Hour. Uh, go join Sean Silverfoot, and you can learn or inquire about any of the Pax Layer Borough of Towns. If you're looking for uh, residents in any of them, Pat, uh, Sean Silverfoot's the man to talk to. At 3 p.m., the EVL Guild is hosting a Euro Dungeon Crawl. Euro Crawl. Yes. And, uh, and this is going to start a shout on out out there to uh, Seamus McGinnis. Uh, Seamus McGinnis is the uh, new guild leader of EVL. Mm, okay. Congratulations, Seamus. Meeting point for the 3 p.m. dungeon crawl is going to be outside the overworld map of Owl's Head and, or contact Wintermute Offcoff for more information. At 7 p.m., the EVL is also hosting another Monster Mash dungeon run. This time, it's also going to be... The dungeon master is going to be Zinni. It's meeting in the same place Zinni. of the overworld map outside of Owl's, Owl's Head. 
if running with EVL at seven doesn't feel your fancy, but you'd re much rather go ru do a dungeon run of Chillblain's Compendium of Pain and Suffering. Pain and suffering. By by listening to this show. <laughs> <laughs> for an hour. You can always join Maul Hari and the Jade Dragons for their dungeon run of Chillblain's Compendium of Pain and Suffering at 7 p.m. on WRFB. WRFB. Are these 70s at 7? Amen. At, at 10 p.m., Temper Tantrum T Days. It's my radio, and I'll do what I want. That's right. And the final event of the evening is going to be on WRFB, w and that's going to be RFB. Radio the Record Room. Britannia. And that's what our <laughs> that's what's going on for right, player so. events <laughs> and Shroud, Shroud of the Avatar. That's right. No on need to go March anywhere. 14th. All the pain oh, yeah, and yeah, suffering yeah. you <laughs> need right <laughs> here. That's right. <laughs> Metered out at <laughs> large hangout. Just, <laughs> just play around with a couple sound, couple soap boxes. I love this shit. I tell you, <laughs> where else can you get this kind of stuff, folks? Nowhere else but here on NBNN. Of course, we'd why, like to remind why am I you reading that a book? NBNN is a proud sponsor of SodaCon Austin 2017. If you need more information, go to SodaConAustin.org and you can get all the information you need. Otherwise, you can go ahead and contact me and I'll go ahead and give you all the information you need. Of course, you can catch us in replays for all the daily hijinks, shenanigans, pain and suffering right here on WRFE Radio Free Britannia, where you can hear us throughout the day in replays, rehashing all this fun and games for you. Grimy Traders Auction House, where you can go start your own auction. It's free to sign up, it's free to list, it's free to sell. CrimeyTraders.com. <laughs> killing me, Smalls, killing me. <laughs> The Ackenshire and Markham Farms, Wholesale, Cotton Reagents, Vegetable Oil, and more. <laughs> Official sponsors of NBN. What I'm the sorry. Hell? <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> keep going, Take keep going. <laughs> and conveniently available on the Shroud Marketplace for your shopping pleasure <laughs> as well. Our home guild over at the Britannia Mining Company wants you to come on down to Market Road and check out all the vendors for all your crafting goods and needs. Located in the Quell region, right next to the Exeter Mine for your mining convenience as well. Black Rock Cove for all your crafting materials. Sodamap.com soon coming to a map in-game near you. We have uh, Jacob White with the premier mapping program for Shrouded Avatar. You need to find your way. Check out SodaMap.com and soon to be integrated in-game. Congrats to Jacob on that one. Our good friend Ben over at RelicsByRiddle.com. Relics by Riddle for all your licensed Shrouded Avatar swag. If you want to save a couple bucks on all that swag, use the promo code NDNN when you check out and you'll save 10% when you check out of RelicsByRill.com. And last but not least, our friends over at the Shroud Marketplace for all your virtual vendable needs. Jack, you want to tell the folks about the Marketplace? Shroud Marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything <laughs> Shroud of the Avatar related. Everything and anything can be bought or sold on shroudmarketplace.com Shroud Marketplace. if there is something that you have and you want to sell it to other players for cash you can become a vendor on Shroud Marketplace by clicking the button that says register and then clicking on vendor registration I'm actually logged in right now so it's like, yeah I'm showing uh, then after that it's don't forget anything can be bought or sold from accounts all the way through services so if you if you have an excess of game gold and you want to offload it to other players that could 
potentially have more of a need for it than it yourself, or you know what, you have that extra artifact that you want to unload, you can do that at shroudmarketplace.com. Remember, the marketplace just is a listing service. They don't hold in onto anything and every vendor has a different reputation. So you can also look at how people have rated their transactions on shroudmarketplace.com. That's right. Yes. Services. Services. I love some cheese. I love some cheese sign writing. Cheese writing. Such road mm. is music service. Music. Weddings and or, yeah, Seder yeah. Stinky Sewer Shop. And many, I will many more. Oh, yes. All of that is available on Shroud Marketplace, including the Auchenshire and Markham Farms. Proud sponsors of NBNN. Don't forget, if you can visit mm -hmm. them in Dawn's Keep, or you can, if you want to pay them cash for their produce, you can always just do so on Auchenshire and Mark, uh, at ShroudMarketplace.com. That's right. Yeah, Why am I sponsoring the show again? I don't know. I, I think it's because you want to listen to Laz complain about something and never bug report anything. That's true. I do. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yes. he, he loves just hearing his name on the radio every day. And that's why he supports us. That That's true, too. And don't forget, <laughs> if you want to become a uh, Patreon, you can always go to patreon.com and just do slash NBNN or Google search that. Uh, or go to nbnn.info, click on the donate buttons and yes, contribute some funds. Or you can always look at below our streams under the info section. You can always click on the donut button there. Donut button. Yeah. Yes. Donut. Donut. Donut button. That's right. Well, you donating can... is too hard. Yeah. I mean, it's like I, I need some more donuts. Don donuts are a lot easier. That's right. But meanwhile, we're going to wrap it up for today, folks. And, of course, we can't forget to thank you guys. And I see Blood Omen waving down there with his skull, uh, with his bone armor hand on the screen. And we got to thank you guys before we get out of here today. We love you guys, and we appreciate you guys joining us, even when we're having uh, some of the best heated uh, debates here live. Hey on nbn and that's right live this happens live this isn't tape this isn't pre in, in, pre plan in, in, this shit is live folks <laughs> in, until you catch it and repeat that's right till you catch and then it it's no repeats. longer live <laughs> but meanwhile we gotta get out of here thanks for listening thanks for watching thanks for tuning in i'm laz i'm jack and we are NBN and stay tuned for more new sports entertainment crazy wild happenings the latest hijinks and shenanigans and the hottest debates only here on NBN and thanks for listening we'll see you all tomorrow have a great day everybody yeah. bye, bye bye it was a bug yeah, yeah, I know bug. What I, you know what do they include everything they've fix in patch notes and, re and release notes and the answer is no so every release you have an obligation to report bugs, bugs.